Hey there everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. This is Spiraling Helix. Last time we made our way through Indigo Underground, getting both of the mini paint stars and also helping the Green Rescue Squad. Last time I also behind the scenes picked up another plunger and the fan, which actually I hadn't used the fan so I didn't pick up another fan. But heading into Blue Bay Beach, Let's get right into it. The recommendation, as you can see on screen, is bring the fan. Although we're not, we don't actually need it quite yet. So maybe it wasn't on screen. Make sure you have the fan on you though. That's the, the general bit of advice. Yo, Barrio. Here at Blue Bay Beach, we're getting ready for Ocean Fest. It's a big festival where we celebrate the ocean and get down with our bad selves. All of us, Toads are totally pumped! Ocean Fest? The paint stars are missing and you're planning a beach party? But I guess toads will be toads. I miss the days when they used to dance around Prisma Fountain. If we ever want to see another toad colour party, we need to find those big paint stars. There should be a mini paint star somewhere on this bridge. Bridge? Bridge? Beach? Let's take a look around. Well, heading down here, we'll find a long line of cutes. Whoa, Mario, we've been in line since last night. No paper cutting. Back off the line! Okay. I guess they are all waiting for Ocean Fest then? Yeah, but they're still preparing. So let's just wander around here, not do any of the battles, because none of them are new enemies. As far as I'm aware, we'll see some new enemies in a moment. But let's head up here and see... Whoa, whoa, that's easy. Okay, I'm totally gonna miss a colorless spot in this level, so let's hope I don't. Anyway, heading over here... Oh, oh here's a very tough one to miss, guys. Make sure you get that stupid little dot that's white. Back here, do not break that block, because you can get... A line jump! We will see the line jump in this level. Don't you worry, guys. We I still haven't shot it off, but not for long. Back here, we're gonna see something very interesting. And let's see what you have to say. Yeah, Where is it? There's a rumor that some legendary power captain hid his treasure somewhere around here. I've been looking around for a hidden switch or something, but I guess it's just a legend. Well, it seems like this looks different, but let's hammer the walls and pull this down. I thought I heard a wall or something slide open, but there's no time for distractions. I've got to find that treasure. Uh, you keep doing that, but we get lots of coins and a plunger replica. Now, the thing with the replica cards... Th you can find them in the world too, which is pretty darn good, as cards. But again, replica cards have a few disadvantages. Mainly being that they do not count as things, but we'll see that a bit later. And by later I mean in another episode, because we're probably not going to use a thing card in this episode. Even though I mentioned about the fan. Forget about that guys, that's my mistake. Whoa! Would you look at that view? Sorry, I've never actually seen this part of the ocean before. Amazing! Too bad I'm just a flimsy piece of paper now. Otherwise, I'd go for a swim. Um, sorry, Huey, but we kind of needed your metallic body to be squeezed into paper. Anyway, around here. I think we better go check out the boat we saw there, but... We're so close, guys. Let's do it. Let's check out the boat. Oi, Mario! Get a load of this super cool blue toad. He's gonna sail to the edge of the world in this tiny boat. I wonder what's at the edge of the world. Like, is it pretty? Quiet! This isn't about finding a pretty place or being cool. I'm embarking on this long, foolish, potentially de deadly journey in order to discover my destiny. Sounds like a midlife crisis to me. Just buy a convertible and be done with it. 
The end of the world is probably pretty far, so you might want to upgrade your ride anyway. Hey! Ocean Fest is finally starting! Come on! Nice! About time! We're out of here! Have fun in your boat, loser! Ocean Fest! Those toads are bullies! I don't have time for your silly festivals! It's time to discover my destiny! Uh, well, as much as I might want to help you, I'm, I'm with those toads. I want to go check out Ocean Fest. I'm sure we'll come back to you later. Maybe. Possibly. Anyway, Ocean Fest time! Except we're not quite in Ocean Fest yet. We have one thing stopping us, and that's this massive room full of sand. Okay, it's more than just sand. As you can see, jumping around in the background, there's a whole lot of fishies. A whole lot of cheap cheeps. The Ocean Fest Square is just ahead. It's already open. Just watch out for cheap cheeps. Darn things are everywhere. Okay, now I'm gonna get into a fight with one. Because it is a brand new enemy, of course. Now a few of them can appear. I wish more than two would appear so I could use a line jump. But I guess it's gonna have to just be a worn out hammer and a hop slipper. So let's do this painting in the terrible cards I just got. Yeah. Come on! That wasn't enough! Crap! Cheap cheeps are stronger enemies! Okay, so worn out stuff is no good, including hop slippers. A normal jump probably would have killed it, but hop slippers are just terrible. Um, well, you're already weakened, so let's just finish you off with a normal jump card. Because I have so many of the darn things. I need more variety in my battle cards. Never mind the fact I only have, like, half the battle cards that I'm allowed. Anyway, if you want to avoid these cheap cheeps, and don't care about getting any of these colorless spots or these items. Stay on the edge of the map. The Koopas are basically the only thing that can get you there. This, this, this bit sucks. Move. Okay, I think I made it. Oh, safe. The Ocean Fest Square is just ahead. Some pretty cool stuff is happening on the main stage. I am surprised I got through there with just the one encounter that I wanted. Like, seriously, it's tough to avoid some of that stuff. But I think I'm going to go straight up. Actually, no. You know what? I am going to talk to a few of these toads. I'll just paint this weird toad face in. Okay. Actually, speaking of this weird toad head thing. That's a lot of mushrooms. One one playthrough I did of this game, I was missing a colorless spot in this level. And when I'm missing like just a little bit of colorless spots, I'm going crazy going like, crap, where could it be? But this level, I was doing that for a solid half hour. It was that giant spot that I somehow never noticed. Anyway, though, I think that's it for colorless spots that aren't near the stage. So let's just head up there. And before the main attraction, there is something quite interesting I would like to show off. Now, earlier on, when I was loading up the level, okay, you didn't see the fan card that I mentioned because, well, we're not going to be using it quite yet. However, you did see something else in the optional cutouts that I showed off. There was something way b more important. Okay, maybe not more important, but way more interesting. That optional cutout section. That showed something else inside it. The big green L. Well, that's because right back here, if I use a cutout, these are the very few cutouts that almost never... Uh... Well, that are optional, but never show the usual optional thing. These cutouts 
have Luigi hiding behind them. Yes, he is in the game and not just as male. But he delivers 300 coins for you if you find him, which is pretty darn nice. Now, usually there is a little way for you to tell if Luigi's there. Oh, was that a green Mario cosplayer? That must be weird for you. And I guess he doesn't know anything about Luigi. But anyway, usually you can tell if Luigi's there by a little hint, like the green towel and the shoes underneath was the hint here. Pretty easy to miss, actually, just saying. But I think... Oh, okay, let's talk to this shy guy. I don't trust him here. Hands off my straw. It's more precious than life itself. Okay, I knew this battle was coming up. But after saving Luigi, I believe that's when he'll send you... Hey, I have so many mushroom cards. I think I might actually bin them after this battle, which is something that I've never actually done, bin cards. You could also sell them, but I'm not too worried. Usually I just bin cards. But yes, Luigi should now send a letter to me because I did find him. However, if I didn't find him, I'd never get the letter. Now, there are a few Luigi locations throughout the game. After finding... After you finish the level with the last one, Luigi will send you a letter automatically saying that, Oh, hey, did you know I've been around the world and seen you journey? I've been in five different spots. See if you can find me. But I'm going to show them all off as soon as I can. But that's not why we came here. We came here for one reason and one reason only. Ocean Fest! Mario, welcome to Ocean Fest. We're just about to start a super fun event here on the main stage. And it just so happens we need a volunteer. Come on, it'll be fun. Okay then. I knew you'd be game. Let's get started. Please welcome to the stage five fun guys. Heh. <laughs> Puns. For our first act, no, it's not clam digging, it's Toad and Go Seek. The five fun guys are all gonna go hide in different spots around the immediate area. You just need to find all five of them. Okay, we're playing a bit of hide and go seek. It's pretty darn easy. And I'm just gonna show you the easy spots. Now, this got rebuilt, so my eyes are shut tight, so I don't get any sand in there. I can't see anything, but I can still sense awkward situations. You found me, didn't you? Okay, and this one, yeah, there's a toad hiding up in that tree. He looks a bit worried. Man, it was really hot up there. Makes you really feel the plight of the coconut, you know? Okay, two down, three, two, go. I think there's two over this way. Now, this clam did look interesting earlier. I got in here to hide, but then the shell closed on me. Now my hair is all messed up. Maybe no one will notice. Okay, and you're just chilling in the sand. Phew, I'm getting a wicked sunburn. The sun sure is angry today. You know a thing or two about the angry sun, don't you? Yes, I not personally do, but I have played Mario Bros. 3 and oh boy, that thing is scary. Now the last one is probably the toughest one to find. But if you head up here, something seems unusual. Welcome, welcome. Enjoying Ocean Fest? Enjoying Ocean Fest? Huh. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, that didn't seem to work, but if, uh, no. Nope. If I get right behind and face this way, welcome. Oh, you got me. On the plus side, I can make a mean latte now. You found all five, let's get back to the stage. And I think you actually have a dialogue about that. I had no idea there was someone behind me. I was too focused on being hip and a likeable barista. Cool, well, if we head back here, time for our reward. Wow, nice work, you found all of the five fun guys. You've won Toad and Go Seek, thanks for playing. So let's move on to our main event. You wanna be a part of this too, right? I guess I can do one more game. Then let's get started featuring our world famous singing, dancing, shuffling toads. It's Toad Shuffle! Yeah, woo! Shuffle, shuffle, yow! Now feast your eyes upon this spectacular one of a kind key. This is the grand prize, a key to the very prestigious 
Prestidless, I think is how you pronounce that. Blissful Beach. Wowza! I will hand the key to one of the five fun guys. The five fun guys are identical twi quintuplets, so what do I give it to very closely? Did you see which toad I gave the key to? Okay, now feel free to talk to any of the five fun guys. But look with your eyes, alright? No touching. Talk to me again when you're done. Okay, so it's this one in the middle. Don't mess this up, okay? He's he's the one with the messed up hair. Should be easy enough to remember. Okay, then let's watch the five fun guys dance and shuffle. And remember to keep track of that key. Okay, I actually managed to keep track of that quite well, but I didn't even need to because, again, it's the one with the messed up hair. So let's talk to you. You think I have the key? I know you have the key, dude. What? Tough luck, pal. I had the key. Oof, too bad. Bzzzt, wrong. What? This is definitely the toad you gave the key to. I was following. Oh, yeah? Where's your evidence? They're identical quintuplets. Oh, it's impossible to tell them apart. Don't take it too hard. Hmm, Mario, something about this smells fishy. This definitely get. They definitely gave the kick to the. Ow! If only there was a better way to keep track of which toad is which. Uh, yes, I'll try it again, I guess. Apparently, he won't take the bent hairstyle as evidence. But I have a better idea. He gave it to the same toad, like an idiot, he shouldn't have done that, because now I'm gonna out this. No touching her, how about this? It even matches there. Hello, I didn't think it'd be a green one that, this time. Okay, I'm ready. It's pretty easy to keep track of him, he's, he's, he's coloured green all over now. Okay, oh, he moved, he, he moved. Okay, I think I, I think I managed to keep track of him this time, guys, okay. I think it might be this one. Let's see. Nope! Tough luck, pal. I knew it! This is all a big scam! Look at that paint! There's your proof! Before they shuffled around, we slapped some paint on the toad you gave the key to. Oh boy. You caught us red-handed. He's covered in paint, so there's no denying it. Man, is this gonna ruin my career? I can see the headline now. Shufflegate exposed. Okay, this can't get out. I'll give you the key to Blissful Beach in exchange for your silence. Sorry, we were just trying to have a little fun. No hard feelings? You got Blissful Beach key. And with that, the 555th annual Ocean Fest has come to a close. We'll see you next year. And remember, you saw nothing. Jeez, I, I don't think I want to hang around these guys much longer if they're cheating. So let's head into the very exclusive Blissful Beach. It's a perfect beach where society's most elite can relax in the utmost elegance. Oh, I see you have the key to Blissful Beach. But how did... No one has ever won Toad Shuffle. Well, uh, congratulations. Please come in and experience true bliss. Okay then, what's true bliss like? Well, it's not perfect. It's got a few spots missing. Some oh, the Shy Guys came through here at some point. Unless the Shy Guys are part of the elite who deserve utmost elegance. Anyway, it, I recommend you hammer these umbrellas open so we can get up to that paint star. But over here, there seems to be a little someone over there. So let's use a cutout to reach the rescue squad toad. This is the first of three that we're actually gonna find. And that's actually the other thing I put in the intro. I did put it in for Indigo Underground, but... Well... We're actually going to see all of them here. So every time there is a level that has a rescue squad member in them, I will let you know. And if there's more than one, I will also let you know that. Before talking to him, though, I recommend you pull this. And then talk. 
There's something so mesmerizing about the ocean. Ah! When did the tide come in? I'm trapped! Oh, a bridge! I'm saved! Toad number three of the Purple Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Now if you excuse me, I must report to my squad leader in Ruddy Road! Tide number three? Uh, um, okay. So, we won't be getting them in order, apparently. Which is interesting because this cannot be, or I guess it can be the third rescue squad Toad you find. But it really shouldn't be, like, at the very least, if it's the second one you find, okay, that, that can be possible if you go to that other level that we have available. But there's a line jump coloured in. Okay, I said I'd show off the line jump, but I didn't get round to doing it because there was only one battle. Which is actually quite nice, but course clear! And... With that, guys, we're going to unlock a new level! And not just a path to an old level! So we have just unlocked Sun Glow Ridge. However, next time we will not be doing that. We will instead be heading down here into Daffodil Peak. So with that, guys, I know I didn't show off the guy on the boat at the beginning of Blue Bay Beach. We'll be saving that for another time. And I always plan on that. Don't worry. So next time we will head to Daffodil Peak. This has been Spiraling Helix. Bye-bye, everybody.